see there are loads of pancakes in front of me. I'm very excited to dig in once I finish filming. It is Pancake Tuesday. No, it's Shrove Tuesday or Pancake Day on Tuesday. I don't know if you celebrate that all around the world. Is it just the UK? I think it's more than the UK. Is it Europe? Who knows? Who knows? Let us know in the comments if you celebrate Pancake Day on Tuesday, Shrove Tuesday. I guess it's a religious thing, right? It started off. I think so, yeah. yeah. It's Lent. You lent, oh yeah, of course. I'm really coming across <laughs> like I know very little about this. Anyway, I've decided to do like a classic crepe or British style kind of pancake. This is what I grew up having, lemon and sugar. And then this is a bit more exciting with some chocolate and fruit. So there's something that you can try out. I'm also gonna be adding on two recipes for pancakes that I've done in the past. So we've got a three ingredient pancake, which is more of a sort of healthy, simple recipe or my fluffy pancakes, which is in my new ebook, Plant Kitchen Comforts. I'll put those on in the video as well, in case this kind of pancake isn't for you, or you wanna try something different. Just try them all, have one for breakfast, one for lunch, one for dinner. But yeah, as usual, all of the recipes are linked down below in the description box, so you can follow along. And yeah, I hope you enjoy eating pancakes next Tuesday. So I'm using chickpea flour for these crepes. Chickpea flour, is useful in vegan recipes in particular because it kind of gives that eggy flavor and it provides what eggs provide when you mix it with water. So we're gonna just shove that in the food processor along with the other ingredients and that should make our pancake batter. food processor to do this. You can do this by whisking and making sure you sieve the flour. It's just more convenient to do it in a food processor if you have one. The mixture will be like quite runny compared to other pancake mixtures like the thicker fluffier pancakes but that's what we want for these kind of thin crepe style pancakes. So I'm just heating up this pan on a medium heat and giving it a little brush with some oil. down below if you think I'm gonna make it. Ah! <laughs> Very close. I'll try next time. <laughs> Very small this one. Ready? Yeah. Oh! Billy. So I'm gonna use the Vi Life Cocoa Spread to make these pancakes. So I'm gonna do chocolate, strawberry and banana, but you can go to town. I'm gonna to leave some suggestions on the blog post on the recipe page of fillings you can do, but today we're gonna to do a chocolatey one and then we're gonna do like a classic British lemon and sugar one. just got the remainder of the cocoa spread um, with some maple syrup and I'm stirring it through so I can drizzle this on top of the pancakes. I'm just gonna add, add it bit by bit until it's the consistency that I'm after so it can like, you know, drizzle yumminess all on top.
This is not going to go in my mouth. It is. Not this. I'm going to eat this whole plate on my own. How many pancakes are there? Six. Six. Easy. So the way that I had this when I was little was literally just sugar and lemon. Though I don't actually think we used real lemons, I think we just used Jif. Is that what we were talking about a second ago? Jif lemon juice that you just sort of spritz over it. I wasn't a huge fan of it when I was a kid. I used to be like, this is so boring, can I just have a normal meal? But this is like what I think most British people grow up having with just a nice little sprinkle of sugar and then a squeeze of lemon and then you either roll it or I'm going to fold these because I rolled the other ones into a nice little crepe pancake. But yeah, you could literally just, oh. but I think we used to roll ours, but yeah, really, really easy and you can put more sugar on top. I think this is going to be extremely sweet because I've been pouring loads of sugar for the, vid uh, for the video and for photos. I was right. <laughs> that tastes so nostalgic even though I didn't really love it as a kid. I definitely obviously had it every Pancake Tuesday and it's I enjoy it so much more as an adult I understand why. I think when I was little I was just being really fussy but oh my gosh so yummy and we're just gonna have to do this all again on Tuesday Alex. Mm. Roxy! <laughs> she got caught up in the I think she's trying to get the pancake. I wish you could see what she's doing right now. Could you see her? Yeah. Roxy, what are you doing? This is the batter. You leave it to sit for five minutes just so it can thicken up um, because there's the uh, apple cider vinegar and everything in there. So you wanna let it sit and then we can start cooking. Another thing I always do is I always pop the oven on while I'm cooking. Help if it was on. And that means that when you're making the pancakes, if you want them all nice and hot, you can have it at a really low temperature, put them on a plate in the oven so everything stays warm. So you could potentially double this recipe and serve a large group of people and keep all your pancakes warm. really is quite tricky not to just eat the pancakes as they're there. I just want to eat them. I don't have patience. I want to shove it in my mouth. Uh oh. Little escape artist.
loving the recipe for the photos and I'm not sure if this food process is big enough. <laughs> we shall see. It's like sinking into the oats slowly. Mm. this this is all mine yum as always like i said at the start all the recipes are linked down below for you to follow one of them though is in my ebook so you can grab that on my website if you recreate them also i'd love to see your images and photos on tuesday if you make any of these recipes you can tag me at madeline olivia and don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next video bye as always all the recipes are <laughs> Why are you laughing? Stop! Right, Roxy's barking as well. You have to stop laughing. I'm a DJ. You gotta put your hand to your ear. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's hot. <laughs>